What is up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Crimson Dragon is here back at it again with another episode of the UFC 4 Squad Tournament 3. Last time we got into one of the craziest fights of the tournament. Uh, Jefferson Picture Perfect Encarnacion defeated his rival Jonathan Mount Italy Sarah, and the beef is not even over. I mean, they're still going at it as we speak right now. They'll probably still be going at it at the retirement home, to be honest. But anyways, we move on. That fight is over. We move on to the other side of the bracket where we got newcomer Justin Jag Grant, United States Marine, taking on Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez. I'm excited. Let's take a look at our fighters. All right, here we go. We got Justin Jag Grant, a newcomer to the tournament, United States Marine. And we asked him, what's he going to do against Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez? He says, look, I know that Chris is coming in here with a bit more stamina than me. He got a first round knockout against Jonah, the contractor, Lopez. And I got into a bit of a brawl with Bromo Martinez. But fear not, because I can go on for 15 rounds, 20 rounds if need be. Stamina is not a problem for me. I used to wake up 4 in the morning, train all day long. This is nothing to me. And again, I say that my discipline, my stamina, my endurance, and my toughness will get me the victory tonight. But will that be enough against Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez? Let's take a look at Justin's opponent. Sporting a new look is Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez. I mean, you can tell he was definitely feeling himself after that first round knockout explosion on Jonah the Contractor Lopez. I mean, Chris has just been on fire this tournament. And when we asked him, how's he going to get through Jag Grant here? He said, listen, Justin is not on my level. Nobody on this tournament is on my level. I am predicting another First round finish. He is not going to compare to my kicks. My punches are way too fast for him. I am way more dynamic than he is. I have been through way more devastating battles than he has been. And this is just going to be another easy victory for me, man. But will that be enough? Let's find out. I am excited. I will see you in the cage. All right, here we go. Justin Jag Grant taking on Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez. There is no controller being used. Let's just watch these guys duke it out. All right, both fighters are in the cage. only care about one man here, right here, right now. That is the referee. Give me a cut of that man, please. Thank you. Justin has his eyes on Chris. Always prepared. But Chris just dances on him. All right, here we go. The fight begins right here, right now. Neither man touches up. Oh, nice combination there by Chris as he was coming in. Chris is definitely feeling himself. You can see he changed his whole entire look. I mean, what a performance he had against Jonah the Contract Lopez. I mean, that was a very high-pressured uh, high fight for him. Very hyped up, and he definitely delivered with that devastating front kick. And Justin Jack Grant also shocked fans when he was able to do what he did to Bromo Martinez. I mean, it's not easy to even go three rounds with Bromo Martinez, much less put on a spectacular fireworks show that he did. Barry opponent is different. He is coming in here today with a different game plan for Chris, the more phenomenal one, Lopez. Yeah, I'm very excited for this one. I mean, both guys are very decorated strikers. I mean, oh, Justin goes for the takedown, but Chris defends. Oh, nice head movement with the body shot. Sidekick missed there by Chris. Oh, but he lands the hook. Very interesting here. Round two has been very interesting so far. I mean... You got Josiah Luciano, you got Jefferson Encarnacion, you got that weird uppercut that made him spin around that just happened right now. <laughs> oh, nice Superman jab right there. Nice knee on the come in, but he got hit with a punch there. Oh! 
nice side kick sat him down. I like that Justin is trying to get him for the takedowns, but I think he needs to set them up with the punches, and then he can get to work when he takes him down to the ground, hopefully, if that works out for him. Chris doing a really good job here of maintaining this, this distance right here and just going in with some type of combination. It's working really well for him so far. And it's also getting Justin thinking about what's coming in, but... He's just blitzing him. That, that's his karate style. That whole combination there was blocked by Justin uh, by Justin Grant there. Gets him up against the cage, but couldn't do anything with it. Chris's takedown defense is just phenomenal. You could probably say it's a result of his uh, training camp for Jonah, Jonah Lopez. Given that Jonah Lopez is such a decorated wrestler, um, you can see why Chris practiced so much on his takedown defense. Whoa! Nice overhand, but it was uh, evaded. He goes for the takedown again and misses again. Now Chris takes control. Oof! Oh! Rocked him with that front kick! Justin looking to press the action. Oh, that was a nice knee there. Can he get this takedown? No, man, that's got to be discouraging. Been a whole lot of takedown attempts, but not a single one has landed. Got to be discouraging mentally and also stamina-wise for Justin Jack Grant here. Oh! But Justin seems to be doing really well in the striking. I mean, he's wor I feel like he's worrying a bit too much with the grappling. And I think he just needs to fo- Oh! That takedown was landed, but he just lets Chris get right back up. Oh, that was a nice two right there. Straight down the middle. Nice spin there by Chris. 30 seconds left to this first round. Oh! He knocked him down! Chris looking to win some ground and pound! Justin ties him up! Chris passes the half guard, looking to pass a full mount, but Justin flips him over! He gets it to side control! He has control of the position here. He goes for Neon Belly. And we see a round two. Wow. What a crazy end to that round. Boosh. Nice front kick there. A beautiful combination from Chris. Sits him down. Puts the knees together. And he goes in for ground and pound. Looking to finish the fight. Really good first round. Here we go with the second round. I think if I was scoring, I'm going to give that first round to Chris. I think he can just he just controlled a bit more. And that knockdown um, especially cemented it for me. But Justin did really well in flipping him over. Not getting hit with that ground and pound. Ooh! Such a quick Superman jab, but it was dodged by Chris. Oh, nice knee-elbow combination. Oh, sends him down again. Sent him flying with that straight right hand. Justin's able to tie him up, though. Chris passing. He's looking to pass a full mount. Gets half guard on the other side now. Chris really wants this full mount position, but he's not able to get it. Oh, and now Justin Grant has his back. This is probably what he wanted here. All these takedown attempts, and he's finally able to get this fight on the ground in his favor right now. He is 
Really controlling Chris really well. He's got the full mount position. Looking to land some decent ground and pound. Able to get some shots in. I mean, if Justin can just control him here. He's doing a good job so far of keeping him in the full mount position. Oh, Chris is trying desperately to get out of here, though. Not able to find his way. Man, Justin is really good on control in this full mount position here. Man, Chris is not able to get anywhere. But Justin cannot make the same mistake that Mount Italy did. He can't just stay here and throw these little baby punches that aren't doing much damage. They're getting the strike numbers up, but he needs to land significant strikes. He needs to posture up and just smash Chris from the top. He cannot let this fight go into a decision at this rate here. Because if he does, oh, Chris finds a way and he's in half guard and outside control. Really good of Justin to really get out of the way of that half guard and just get to a very dominant position. But he ends up at half guard again. Looking to faint his way into the full mount. The last thing that Justin needs here is for Chris to somehow get up. He needs to keep this control here. Waste the stamina of Chris. But like I said before, he needs to posture up and he needs to land big, big shots on Chris. If not, then he'll win the round, but he's not going to win the fight. He needs to land damage. He flattens him out here. He's trying to get his hand on the... Oh, he's trying to go for a rear naked choke. He switches hands. He's throwing strikes from the mount. Oh, he clasps the hands together. It's looking pretty tight. He flips him around. He's, he's going to look to, to put that hand. And he makes Chris tap out. Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> Maybe I guess Justin knew something that we didn't because wow. He stayed true and he believed in the grappling of this fight. I mean, even though his takedowns were getting stuffed, he was getting rocked, he was getting knocked down. He knew that he was going to be able to get this submission right here. Wow! What a choke from Justin Jag Grant. Makes him tap beautiful. Wow! What a show. What a fight. I mean, that was a comeback. That was a comeback right there. Wow! What a fight. Your three fighters in round number... That are going to the semi-final round are Josiah Nomad Luciano, Jefferson Picture Perfect Encarnacion, Justin Jag Grant, and now we will find out the final fighter joining them next time as we check out the man who beat the former champion, Brandon James the Blur, goes up against Tyler T. Skill Medina. I mean, you are not going to want to miss this one. I'm pretty sure that fight is going to end quick as these two guys are the fastest guys in the tournament thus far. Man, I can't wait for that one, but let me know in the comments who you think is going to win it all. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, share with your friends, click that notification bell, find out exactly when I'm uploading, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Thank mm -hmm. you.